Hello and welcome to Workspace ONE 101, a free video training course on how to quickly configure and deploy Workspace ONE as a standalone enterprise mobility management solution. This video is brought to you by UEM Authority. Let's get started. Integrate Workspace ONE with on-premises Active Directory. You have two integrations with your on-premises Active Directory. One, integration with Workspace ONE UEM. Two, integration with Workspace ONE Access. Workspace ONE Access can provision users into Workspace ONE UEM. Integration with Workspace ONE UEM Active Directory is a directory service that runs on Microsoft Windows Server. The main function of Active Directory is to enable administrators to manage permissions and control access to network resources. In Active Directory, data is stored as objects, which includes users, groups, applications and devices. So, you have all your users stored in Microsoft Active Directory. We need to sync the Active Directory in Workspace ONE UEM so we can get all users stored in the Active Directory into the Workspace ONE UEM portal. Any changes within the Active Directory will be synced to Workspace ONE UEM. You don't have to worry if a user leaves your organization. If you disable his or her account in Active Directory, it will be removed automatically from the Workspace ONE UEM portal. Also, integrating with directory services eliminates the need to create basic user accounts in your organization. This synchronization performs necessary updates across all devices for affected users. Requirements 1. On-premises Active Directory with users available to add to the Workspace ONE UEM tenant. 2. A Windows Server machine in your internal environment domain joined only. There's no need to be a domain controller though, we will install the integration components. 3. Network firewall rules. Workspace ONE UEM requires outbound port 443 to be open. 4. Access to the VMware Customer Connect portal. Your username and password will be provided by the vendor. Step 1. Enable AirWatch Cloud Connector through the Workspace ONE UEM console, so we can download this connector at the Windows Server Machine. From the Workspace ONE UEM console, click Groups and Settings, then click All Settings. Click Enterprise Integration, click Cloud Connector, and click Override to enable them for you to manage then click Enabled at Enable AirWatch Cloud Connector. Scroll down a little, then click Save. It's generated the installer, which we will be using in our installation at the Windows Server Machine. Step 2. Install AirWatch Cloud Connector at your internal server. From the Windows Server Machine, click Download AirWatch Cloud Connector Installer. It will ask to generate a password so we can export the certificate again anytime later. Enter your password and confirm it. Then click download. Please keep this password and do not forget it. Click on the downloaded exe file. When the welcome screen appears, click Next and accept the terms in the license agreement. Then click Next again, enter the certificate password you created before, and again click Next. Now you have to restart the Windows Server machine. After restarting the server, let's verify AirWatch Cloud Connector's installation. First, click Start and type Add or Remove Programs. 
click the results and look for AirWatch Cloud Connector. After this, head to the taskbar again and search for Services. Click the results and again search for AirWatch Cloud Connector. If you haven't found the AirWatch Cloud Connector in either place, no worries, just go back and repeat the installation process again. Well done! You have now successfully installed the AirWatch Cloud Connector on your internal server. We can now integrate your directory services. Step 3. Integrate your Active Directory settings with the Workspace ONE UEM console. From the Workspace ONE UEM console, click Groups and Settings, then click All Settings. Next, head to Enterprise Integration before clicking Directory Services, then click Skip Wizard and configure it manually. Enter your server domain name, your company domain name, scroll down a little, then enter your bind username, your service count for your internal Active Directory. Then enter your bind password, then add your domain and server name. Then click Add Domain and press Save. At the top of the screen, click User. Beside your domain name, click the plus icon, then choose where your Active Directory users are located. Enter in a base DN for your users. Press Save, scroll down a little and then press save again. At the top again, click group, and beside your domain name, click the plus icon. Then choose where your Active Directory groups are located, enter in the base DN for your groups, and scroll down, and click test connection. You should see that the connection is successful. Then scroll down a little, and press save. Well done, you have successfully integrated your directory services. Now, you will have full connectivity with your environment through Workspace ONE UEM.